Hi there, this is part two. Um, I did a video earlier today and this is the start of the new month's uh, Facebook uh, challenge. So, it's using up your scraps. I'm using Tim Holtz scraps. Um, this is the second time I've filmed this. Last time I ran out of um, memory and it doesn't um, save what you've videoed so I've already done these projects <laughs> luckily I've just had enough scraps small scraps because that's what we've been doing today just using those small scraps you know that's probably one of the biggest uh, scraps that we've used uh, which is a, <coughs> a four by three the projects so far <coughs> have only been like two by two uh, kind of projects and I did say if you did have the Tim Holtz you've got the squares at the back if you haven't got any scraps and you could have made a lot of these things um, <coughs> with them so so far we've made some specimens I think these are three by two well just over two by just over two but they could have been two by two uh, we've done oval ones and circle ones these are things what I've made before. Punch some circles out ready uh, for some cluster bases. Just some smaller circles for, I don't know at this point, but they might be uh, cluster circles. We did some, oh, we've done, we did about six different things. Um, what, watch the video and then I won't have to tell you. So let's um, start off. So these are the Tim Holtz words and like I said <laughs> on the one that didn't film it, you know you don't have to use Tim Holtz words we've all got a million words cut out um, and sometimes you know I pick these tiny words up and I, they just get lost in in your project and then I can't be bothered to back them in anything and you know all the rest of it so they don't get used especially on these sheets I forget that I've even got them um, and I did say, you know, I perhaps then might uh, back it again in, like, craft paper to make it stand out even more so. Um, <clears throat> so, to do that, I just used these kind of uh, strips. And <clears throat> all I did was just not really thinking about it. I've not even looked what the word is that... It's not a word. Well, it is a word. It's three words. Um, phrase. I'm just peeling them off. And I've got one stuck to my finger. Making sure that I'm leaving enough gap between them. So I've got a space each side. You see a little one that I can put. Well, I think I need one littler than that. Ah, number 42 okay and then I just got my big scissors and just cut them so these ones I'm just going to cut a bit off the the bottom okay so that's them put them in my pile and I'm not going to keep them in my Tim Holtz tin. I'm just going to put them um, in with me, you know, general words. So, very good for these very slim um, cut-offs. And it gets these used up. They make them more usable. And you're not having to bin these little, little strips. Say, I did say very good project for sitting in front of the tally or if you're you know laid up in bed not very well or what have you just a little or if you've just got you know half an hour uh, spare half an hour to do something then it's just one of those little uh, tasks and I think then when you have got time to craft you're using your time more efficiently because all these little things have, have already been been done. Okay, I'll just snip them off. Okay, 
one. I just want to save some of these. Three, four, five, six. That's okay. Oh, carry on. Which one's not got so many on? Let's try and get another one used up. Ooh, let's try and get that in the middle. I was saying once I've used all these up, I think I'm going to print some words out um, on craft. Um, I've got the sticky A4 sticker craft paper. So it might be an idea to print some out on those. I don't know what it would look like on craft card uh, words. I suppose they'd have to be the right kind. It's a very uh, light craft card. It's not dark at all. I'm wondering if I could do two on here. These are quite thin. Have a look. I think I could if I got it straight. Oh, come on. What's that? That's a thin one. I say some of them are so thin, but I do love these. I think they're really quirky little uh, sayings. Something indispensable. A bit more difficult because they're tiny. Um, I'm gonna stick that there. I think that's a bit thicker. It, it appears to be thick. I don't know if it is. No, no, they're not. Some of them do look thicker uh, than others. And save that word. So. Do that. So that's another one used. And I've got two more. Might as well get them get them used. And then next week I can move on to some ooh, about four four by four squares um scraps. Will be exciting. I can say I need to get me thinking as on oh, because I've not planned um what I'm doing. I shall have to see. I think sometimes with scraps, you can't think what you're doing with them until you've got them, got them in your hand. Where's those two numbers? Should use those up. So, eighty-seven and two, three, two. So I'm going to put those together. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to say it's probably really boring <coughs> to watch. I think these are the videos that you probably do want speeded, speeded up. I'm not saying a lot because obviously I'm concentrating. Right. Let's try and get down, down here and keep a bit straight. Okay, they look fine. Okay, last one.
gosh really i'm concentrating i'm gonna say it's just because they're so tiny and yeah this is why i've not used them i'm gonna say i've had these probably nearly two years okay so how about you if i took all those off and put them onto there i would only be left with one but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that i'm just I'm just put the two away Okay, so that's that. Let's find my oh, words. Oh, oh, oh. The specimens, they're not them. <coughs> Numbers, words. So all those can go in there. Okay, so that's them. Okay, now I'm going to do some uh, faux stamps. I was lucky enough to be sent these bases. Um, Violet sent me these, so um, I've already got them. But um, obviously you could cut those out with your scraps um, and use your zigzag scissors. Or I know a lot of people use those. Um, oh, I don't need to do the outside. I can do the outside when I use them I just wanted to do the inside um, and then I've just measured the middle of it and just cut these up out of the smaller uh, pieces and then when I come to decorate them which I'm not doing in this series these all these will pop up again um, when I start doing uh, Tim Holtz things which are coming up after um, finished you know all my fall uh and woodland things so that's that then just glue them glue them on so you could use two sets of scraps set for your bases and then another paper for your for your background and these i will just put um tiny tiny embellishments like the uh, Tim Holtz snippets and um, a lot of the times uh, digital kits I'll print them out so it's really tiny um, and then you end up with lots of little tiny um, embellishments and they're good for those I was also saying um, you get a lot of stamps um, in digital kits there might be some that you know really aren't your cup of tea you could just cover over those i think those will make nice nice pieces and <clears throat> you can always um oh i've got one too many um do you you know you're stamping over the top if you've got one of the um postage stamps so that is those um don't want that right so these little ones i'm gonna make some little um paper ruffles now i was saying this is quite thick um paper so it's not the best paper to do it in but it's good for using up these little scraps. And you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, well, what's she going to do with those? Um, and they do make nice little embellishments. I've done them before. I don't think I've done done a video. But, um, you know, across the top of pockets or at the side of a page. The same as you would um a material ruffle uh but these i would then put uh like the tiny embellishments and just put something in the middle maybe a little piece of ribbon across the front um and a butterfly in the middle it um it's just a 
a little embellishment or you know you could choose it I mean you know size wise none of that works but um that kind of thing so let's get folding Oof. yeah it's quite hard work because it's it's tough paper okay i don't know if i've said it in this video because you forget what you've said in each video the blue things when i come round to doing the tim holes the blue things i will pull out and i'll put them in with my uh box of stuff for the, what i do um because i like doing birds a lot and i seem to do blue and brown with birds so i will put those in my um bird things and then probably decorate them up another time um and then I'm just going to put some a spot of glue under each one, like so. Look at me, bone folder, and I'm going to give them a good, a good bone folder down to flatten them, and that's it. I don't need to. Uh, do that because I would glue it down there and then that would be it so that's that like I say I know they don't look like anything uh, but they will when you see them again when we decorate them they'll look totally different And then what I did last time, the other ones that I made was uh, thicker. So let's try that again. So like that, it looks like a, a stepped. I, I like that. Um, and then I will just clip them all together. I mean these have flattened out loads. In I mean they've been probably in there about two three hours now. Because, um, yeah, I filmed that and I was having to head off out to uh, so the chiropractor. Um, and then, yeah, as I got up to turn off, I thought, oh, I don't believe it. I've just sat there. I'd left myself, um, you know, quite a tight do video off and I went, you know, get ready and go. And I thought, oh, I'm doing all this rushing around now to get out of the house and it's not even videoed. Um, yeah, and like I said, I had not actually got that many scraps left from the first pile that you'd have seen from, um, you know, the first first video. I don't believe that. It's not so bad if it's a one-off video, because then I wouldn't, but you know, I wouldn't bother if it's like a challenge video or a second video. Um, you know, or part of a series, it's a bit like, well, can't just leave, totally leave that bit out. Probably put more glue on where it shouldn't be rather than where it should be. Oh, well, right. So... We'll leave those in there so that's that one um oh, i still need the glue so we're going to do some paper clips and these are what they are um so you've got this bit poking up at the top just for visual and then you've got this at the bottom which you can either put some threads on or some chain um a charm and all the rest of it unfortunately the silver i'm not a big silver fan but i'll have to just get get over myself um so normally when we do a paper clip um embellishment you would i mean i don't know if it's personal preference or what have you i would normally have the big part showing at the back and would stick that on and 
you tied your, your little one with this it's um you're using the small one and you're hiding the big one i hope that made sense so to do that i don't want it that way slip the paper in fold that round fold it again I'm gonna pull it out Let's make sure it's straight and then I'm just gonna open it up and just go in a little bit so it doesn't go totally to the end you probably can't can't see um, and then I'm just gonna put some glue down the side. I'm going to pop the big bit in and the small bit to go at the back where the crease is. And voila! <laughs> cool. So to get my piece of paper, I measured from there to there, um, and that's how I knew how how big I wanted it. So that's going to be the back. Fold this over. Fold that again. Take it out. Just straighten it up a little bit. Let's just check that that still fits because I feel like I've misshaped a bit okay so big bit in yeah that's fine so i'm going to open it up and just cut below where it joined that's it and then just put some glue across this edge okay and then we're going to put the big one in and the back one where the crease is. I think this is too long. <laughs> Let's um, chop some more. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine. So, big bit in, small bit to the back. Yeah, if you didn't want that bit showing at the top you could obviously but that looks weird I think so I suppose you could have a dangle on the top as well right let's do this one's going to be too long as well isn't it let's um cut that to there still too long oh I'll have to chop half a butterfly sorry right so So I do the first fold where there's, you can see here where there's that gap. So I do the first fold where it's a full, um, you know, no break in it. Squeeze it round. Roll it up. Take that out. Just straighten it up a little bit. Top of glue. Put the big piece in and the small piece to the back. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I left enough space. I don't know if that's gonna work. That's Okay, so that's that one. Next, right, yep. So I'll 
slide it over. Bring that one over. I think that's what I did, didn't do before. I didn't have that first one uh, with large enough, um, you know, fold over. So that. And bring it in. Glue it. Obviously, I mean, you can see that isn't even int. <laughs> that isn't even straight, uh, but it really doesn't matter. And put your big bit in. Get your small bit to the back. And we're in. Okay, that's that one. Oh, two more. So, gonna be using these forever. Every project I use is gonna have one of these on it. I'm gonna have to, uh, when I come round to doing two molds, I'll have to put some in the shop. I'm gonna say I'll do some little embellishment um sets and stuff which is why i originally did quite a bit but uh, then obviously i've ended up with millions but like the words i mean like you can use them at any any project well these you can really right and then we'll put that one there Ooh. yeah that's right big one in that to the back Okay, and the last one, I'll do it in this. In white. Okay, move it across. Across like that. Like that. Then I never think that it's gonna fit. I don't think it is. <laughs> yeah, pop that back bit out and then push it in. There we go. So that's those. So I've only been left with the tiniest of scraps. So let's see if I can get. It's so hard to tell where you are with this. Right, but I've got two out of that, so. And so sometimes I don't even get a full, a full one. Doing quite well. and red came out blue <laughs> so it's so look really funny oh there's another bit of that there oh let's see didn't quite get that do you think I'll be able to no I don't even know where that's gone I don't know who knows? Right, what's oh, on my lap? Is that... Is that that other one? Yeah. I think that was jammed in it. I think that's what it was. Mm, can't 
lost its sharpness surely already. I don't know if this one's stuck or, or not. Oh, I'll have a mess about with that after. <sighs> Might have to just put some foil in that. No, I won't do it. Right, I'll have a mess about with that after. So, I've got a few more... Um, of those, let's get those in my tin. There we go. Okay, and I've been left with some of these, so I'm going to try out my uh, punch. So put it in and just keep that folded edge away from the cutting blades. I think everything's broke. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, that's like slipped. You know, punches sometimes are rubbish, aren't they? But yeah, that's I've only used that about three times. Is it? It's not because I've got this off, is it? It's not like a safety um, thing. No, it's totally, oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, it's like getting caught somehow, because that then just went, went down. I bought another punch once. It was to make labels, not for junk journaling, for, for the dream catcher shop. And that only worked for about 10 minutes. That was the worst punch ever. wasn't having this on, was it? I'm going to pause a minute. Now, it's looking like it's not liking cutting it double. Um, I don't know if it's... I don't know. It just seems... Like, it's, it's doing it okay, but as soon as I fold the paper then it's not wanting uh, to do it. So, hmm. I don't know. So, I'm fine having single ones. I can just uh, glue them together and they're all going to be the same uh, shape. I've only got to find one um, similar. Right. Oh, dear. I don't know what happened with this one, but... Um, take, take that out. So yeah, punches are unpredictable. Let's try it on this. Let's try and score. Hmm. 
No, it's just not wanting to do it when it's two. What about when I do it fully? No. Surely it, it can do thicker than one. But maybe it can't. Um, so, yeah, if you've got one of these, do let me know. Because I thought that was the old point in, in having one. So you could do do them double and then just stick them stick them together. Okay. Let's use this bit up. Oh, I don't know if I best actually. No, because I've not swear I've tested it all. Let's uh, see if I can get one of these out. Okay, so I've managed to get a few out. Right, um, whew, that's put me off me, off me what I'm doing. So the last thing is, is these uh, like book plates, and I, I have used, um, I've made these before. I think these will be all linked up actually, and um, I've used them all. So there was definitely uh, handy ones to have. So I'm just going to start off by gluing them all on try and get them central yep oh. something blank on there yeah and so i had got them on in a pile but i think i'm not not the pile over so that that one maybe <laughs> I think when your punches of them have messed about and that it then puts you off bothering with them doesn't it? and I think that's sometimes why why then as punches don't get used because it's like oh it's so much you know messing messing about I mean punches are supposed to be you know to make your life uh, a bit easier so but if it's only just single ones that's that's fine still nice to have tabs in the you know the same paper that that you're working with but I just thought I'd be able to do them uh, double maybe it does want sharp then I mean you would think Oh, it's new. Why well, would it want sharpening? But maybe, maybe it does. Maybe I need to get some foil. But I tried the foil thing with the circle one. And after doing about four circles, I got fed up of doing it. I didn't know how many times you had to do it. Doing it four times really didn't make any difference whatsoever. So I'm guessing you have to do it a lot more than four times. And yeah, I really could not be bothered. Might not have left enough space on some of these to put um, the brads. But I don't have to put brads on, on all of them, I don't suppose. These was just, I mean, I've had to obviously cut them to size, but these were kind of the size that, that I was left with. Okay, so I'm going to eyeball middles and things. So if we go, I don't know what the screws are. <laughs> I was starting to take that punch apart. Right, and go there. Let's not go through my fingers. Right, some of these are different colours and some are flat ones and some are... Um, I think they're different colours. Some are flattered and some are um yeah. What's the other one called? I've totally forgot. I would say it's thrown me that punch thing as. Uh like crossheads. They're not called crossheads, are they? But 
Okay, that's that one. That one's got enough room to to have one. Oh, I did that myself. <laughs> I only caught myself. Right, that's okay. I think I've got those. No different colour. Oh my goodness. She's gone to pop now. Right, that's the same colour. I'm not bleeding. Um, thought I'd best check and um, look down and pour in with, with blood, but I'm not. Yeah. I, I'm going to say, um, with filming this now twice and then uh, punches messing about it, it throws you, throws you off. Right, this is definitely got enough room. Oops. Okay, so I've got cross, cross, cross. Okay, that's a silverish one. I don't think I've got two of those. Out. Okay, that's that's a match. <laughs> that's that that's not looking very big this one looks big enough let's check that I've got some matching ones before I make a hole so that's not silver one again I think that's a bit of a silvery no it's not yeah they're the same so it's a bit hard to, to tell in this light it's gone quite dark outside. Oh, I think I'll put the wrong one in. Where's your shirt in? Luckily I've got one here. So these, um, they aren't the Tim Holtz ones. Um, they are on my Amazon uh, favourites list under odds and ends um, and they're really very reasonable and they come in all different sizes um, I think I've bought two or three packs so far that's oops. oh no that's the same okay Nearly there, nearly there. Hang in there. <laughs> Talking to you as well, not just me. Just hang in there, nearly done. Just humour me. But when I then think about all the stuff that I've made today, <laughs> I've made loads. Um, and obviously they're not all in this tin, you know, I've put those words in my words things. I've put the circle closures um, in a little tin and then obviously those um, hole protectors they're in a different tin so yeah I made absolutely loads right what we got left cross head cross head they're the same let's do this one because I'm thinking if I can use them up it saves me putting them away because <laughs> I've, I've had enough now I'm going to say I'll tidy up and need to get on with tea I'm sorry, I've just been chasing my tail then all day right have I got any more that match that's them all isn't it so we've got a cross a cross a cross that's different that's different so I've got enough for just one more so I'm going to go for this one so thank you very much for um, hanging out with me like I say I know it's probably a really boring video to watch visually but um, you know we all use these types of things 
um, and I do think they're very good to, to get made up beforehand. Right, I'm going. I shall see you tomorrow. Oh, blinking punches. Honestly, I'm going to unscrew them because sometimes just unscrewing them seems to slot something uh, back in. I wonder sometimes I they end up being like that in my box. I wonder if that does something to them, you know. Anyway, I'm going. Bye.